Good morning, folks. Thanks for joining me today. As always, I really appreciate you choosing to spend some time with me. My name's Ben and welcome to Elevate. And today, I just want to share a quick video with you. I've been doing a series on affirmations for various subjects, various topics. Affirmations are very, very powerful tools that we can use in our everyday life. We can meditate on these. We can think about these subjects, these topics, these statements of power. All throughout our day, whenever we're feeling down or oppressed, whenever we're not quite there mentally, use that as a trigger to bring these affirmations in and pick up and receive new power and energy from the universe. So without further ado, here's today's series of five affirmations for peace, stability, mental health, and overcoming depression and anxiety. All right, let's get to it. Okay, folks, well, again, as I said, I very much appreciate you spending your time with me. And before we get started, if this sort of information is of value to you, would you mind giving the video a thumbs up and hitting the subscribe button? That will help us with the way YouTube and its various algorithms work to get this information out to other people who might be looking for it. And certainly if there's any topics you'd like me to cover, just flick me an email or a message or get involved on our Facebook page. Um, I'd love to you know, get you involved in the conversation and answer any questions or help you along on your journey if, uh, if you want some help. But today, five affirmations for peace, for peace in your mind, for overcoming anxiety, for overcoming stress. You know, stress and anxiety is one of the key things that will interrupt the flow of the law of attraction in your life. It's one of the biggest blockages of having the power of the universe flowing cleanly and clearly through you. When it comes to the power of God, the power of the universe, we should be like a clean conduit, unobstructed flow, and yet so often this flow is slowed down so dramatically and these conduits rather than running cleanly and freely with all the blessings of the universe they become plugged up it's like an artery that's all congealed up and calcified up it's uh, it's stopping the blood flow in our life so folks when fear comes against you when anxiety and depression start weighing on your mind when you start feeling stressed about a situation or an event or a person or an interaction or whatever it might be it's time to just pause and meditate on a few statements of power to bring you back into alignment so affirmation number one for peace for mental stability for overcoming fear and anxiety and stress is this i am loved and supported Say that with me now. I am loved and supported. I am loved and supported. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. If no one else is there for you, I'm there for you. Reach out to me. I love you. I support you. I'm there for you. And if you look around in your life, you will find more opportunities of people to love you and support you and to be kind to you and to be there for you and to hold you up and to hold your hand and to journey with you. And if you can't find that, and if you don't have that in your life, you're not alone. I'm here for you, reach out. Affirmation number two, I am blessed and cannot be cursed. Yes, folks, that's you. I declare that for you right now. Say this one with me again. I am blessed and I cannot be cursed. You see, when we live in divine favor, when we live in our soul's mission and our soul's purpose, and we are going through the universe sowing seeds of goodness and understanding that the harvest will come, we bring about a powerful force of blessing into our life. When the universe, when God blesses us and bestows a blessing upon us, speaks a blessing into our life, that is something that cannot be taken away. If you are blessed, you can't be cursed. If you are hot, you can't be cold at the same time. If you are well, you can't be unwell at the same time. You can't go left and right at the same time. Blessing is your natural state. Blessing is my natural state. Therefore, you and me, we're blessed and we cannot be cursed. 
declare it, declare it for you right now. Affirmation number three. No doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. I love this one. I use this affirmation all the time. This is something that I always apply in my life. No matter what happens, I'm always thinking to myself, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. It's my go-to statement. I've done a video on the power of having a go-to statement, and it's really like having a backstop that underlines and underpins as a foundation and a, and a truth in your life, everything that you believe. So no matter what happens, if I stump my toe, or if I feel unwell, or if something happens, or no matter what happens, my instinct immediately says, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. Never doubt that, folks. Never doubt it. Allow a season to have its full work and understand that there can be no doubt and there is no doubt that the universe is unfolding exactly as it should. Affirmation number four. All things are working together for my higher purpose. When you feel fear build and well up inside of you, when you feel stress and anxiety rage against you and you're burning up with it. Just understand that everything is working together for your higher good, for your higher purpose, for your soul's mission. Every single thing, every interaction, every stress, every trouble and every blessing is working together for our higher good, transforming us from glory to glory, helping us become the person our destiny and our mission requires us to be. Everything is happening on purpose. It's happening for a reason. Therefore, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. Therefore, no doubt all things are working together for my higher good. And finally, the last affirmation, affirmation number five, for overcoming fear and anxiety, stress, is a really simple one, but I love this. This has a lot of power and a lot of meaning to me, and I hope this one helps you too. Affirmation number five is simply this. I have peace that surpasses all understanding. Would you say that with me now? I have peace that surpasses all understanding. Folks, that's even in the Bible. That's something that God promises to bring us peace that surpasses all understanding. So when you feel a lack of peace, don't pretend you're lying to yourself, but speak in faith. Speak out in faith and declare, I have peace that surpasses all understanding. Yes, I do. Yes, it is mine. I have it with me now. You have peace that surpasses all understanding. So folks, I hope these five short affirmations have helped you and will be a blessing to you as you journey through life and as you get alongside other people who are journeying through their life as well. Let's begin to help and understand and with empathy and compassion see that we're all on a journey. We're all in various seasons of life. We all have very real stresses. We all have very real opportunities to let our anxiety or fears overrule us and wash away the results of the law of attraction. But folks, that stops now. I declare that for you and I declare it for me. Let's use these five affirmations every day. Let's meditate on them. Let's think about them. Let's go into our world and lift the world up with love, with peace, with joy and strength. Not bring it down with fear and anxiety and depression and all those low vibrational frequencies. Well, folks, I love you. As I said, my name's Ben and I really appreciate your time today. So if this has been a blessing, please share it along. Like and subscribe. As I said in the intro, if there's anything you'd like me to discuss or you'd like to reach out, please do so. I'm here for you anytime. I love you and I support you and I'm thankful for you. Now remember this, a hurting world doesn't need judgment and condemnation. A hurting world needs love. So let's go out there and let's act in love. Peace. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.